Hello and welcome to Sabotage Hill once again with another video. Yay. I'm here in Mill Guy and yes it is Mill Guy. Not Bill and Gavi. Like some people out there would say. It's a Scottish Gaelic or Gaelic or whatever it is. Gaelic, Gaelic, Gaelic. Whatever. It's been a little over a year since I've been in Milgar. So I thought I'd come back and uh, see how things are, really. And be frank with you, I've not actually been here during the spring. Well, that's how I was here, was in uh, late autumn. Uh, so, late autumn, fall, whatever you want to bloody call it. I do seem a bit red. At least on the um, camera screen, anyway. Uh, there are a decent amount of people here today. I mean, there's a park area. Well, it is Saturday. What do, what do you expect? What gun at the air? That, if there were for people to be around. <sighs> Let's see what we can find, really. As per usual, not actually um, doing that much exploring, of me. Well, guy, most of my, all the time I've spent in the middle guy has been walking through, grabbing some tea for breakfast, and heading to Glasgow. When I was there, uh, Homeless and all that. Uh, so yeah. So that's how long I've actually been through the you know, guy. Uh, was what, on February, March time, when I got me tent and other belongings uh, over the last year. Uh, it's been some time since then. Do kind of miss the old wild camping though. Think about doing it at some point. Uh, which means uh, getting the new tent really. The old the one I was using, not really great. I did buy some uh, patches to see about sewing the holes up, but not really. I don't know how to actually do it though. It's, uh, one corner of the thing is uh, needs to be done. I don't know how to do that, so I might as well just get a new one. And I just had a few raindrops, uh, so I hope it's not going to be pouring down with bloody rain. I don't think I've actually been this, to this part of the. Uh, Park, the this part of the uh, Alexander Way. So, to do that at some point, walk it. Don't know how long the Alexander Way is, but yeah, it should be fun to do so. Okay. I'm definitely going to smell nice in, in due time, since all that garlic. So yeah. I've not actually explored much of the little guy, actually. Actually, really. So, let's uh, see where it takes us, really. This is a really bad and, uh, hedge cutting. Really, really bad. Like practically killed most of it. So yeah. Clean is a place that dog bin. You know what I say? But dog shit. The good old dog shit. That's the street. Uh, Keystone Road. 
Okay, this road or that? Probably that road. Uh, should I go left? Alright, uh, let's go right. Uh, I think that goes straight into the town centre. Let's go on Keystone Road. Do you prefer I'm not comfortable with getting the camcorder out on recording? <coughs> well, when other people are around anyway. So a few of the clips you've seen have been on the old uh, um, phone. That's the word. Yeah, you bug off, you flying rodent. Ah uh, yeah, it's definitely starting to rain. Good grief. Not rained at all until I get to my guy. Bloody typical. Don't let us fire. Okay, there's a big old rain cloud hovering overhead. Yeah, come from the west. So, that's great. Looks like it's moving rather fast. Mind you. Somewhere, anyway. Probably be uh, over and done in about two hours. An hour at least. Plane, flying low, we'll probably coming out in the airport nearby. Probably um, Glasgow Airport. Yeah, I can definitely smell the atmosphere. Yeah, definitely cool. Yeah, what's this? Something Court, Queen's Court, and then State. Housing state by the looks of things, yeah. What a day to come back, really. Didn't even really check the weather report. Then again, most of the time the weather report's always wrong. So, yeah. It's definitely nice to see uh, the trees in bloom. That's for sure. Okay, I've definitely walked down this uh, this road plenty of times going into Glasgow. You know, there's uh, Antonis Pit Piss. Antonis Piss, I don't know how to pronounce it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god no. Antoni Antoni uh, Garden. And this garden designed to design is based on an excavation excavation in Bearsden of the Roman wall and bathhouse constructed in 142 AD during the reign of Emperor Antonius Pius ah oh, Antonius <laughs> there you go the design emphasizes the transition from Roman to Pict a slab path passes through the Pictish a Pictish landscape with its bog garden, boulders and swaths of heather and to the form mountain of the Roman bathhouse. Some of the trees here were introduced by the Romans as they invaded. Sweet chestnuts and walnuts were brought us over as food. Planting brings bath the bathhouse to life, colour and texture given the atmosphere of the red hot furnace the steam room and the cool blue pool so yeah and there's a Glasgow Garden Festival yeah. not really buggy really Oh, that's just uh, the Antoni going. Okay. Yes. 28th of April 
Well, this people say bears don't like that. Yeah, hence the uh, bears over there. Yeah, people say that. Oh, yeah. So I might as well head back. I'm going to go down that way. But first, let's have a wee look at the uh, bears over here. It's the bear necessities of life. In loving memory of Uza Tudorino in 1963 to 2018. I've got a fox here. It looks like he's got a broken paw. Yeah, this paw's been twisted. Or her. I don't know his paw. I don't know. Behind all your stories, it's always your mother's story, please. Hers is where yours begins. Oh, yeah, well, man, I can fuck up. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the story of the fox and the bear, but it's true. Hmm. Well, the story of these two, huh? I guess that's the house they share. See, if a fox and, a fox and a bear can share a place, then so uh, we we humans. Beef eater. Sounds like an insult to uh, people who eat beef. Well, it's a restaurant. Uh, it's on the other side of this uh, Premier Inn. And someone's not bloody happy with a pumpkin. Ah, good grief. Oh, someone's got some... Someone over there. Someone over there. Three teas burger out. Yeah, it's only that car park I think. That sounds, sounds a bit... Someone's definitely not bloody happy. Hmm. Maximum height, 14 feet. Or whatever it is. Right. I might not make it underneath. I might bend up. I have to bend over. Imagine me with 14 feet. Okay, the rain's start, starting to fall down now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hang around a bit more. Try to get as much footage as possible we can. Try not to be like an hour long. But who knows? You need to get your train to lift them. So, yeah, sounds like. I don't want to walk around all soaked and soaked. I do have my hood up. I think that's a sign of that's going to do anything. Let's actually walk along here. Away from the fucking traffic. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Oh, there's a bit of water over there. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Let's just walk around the corner. I was not expecting it to be raining, really. I didn't really bring it here. Waterproof. I'm hoping this is not to someone's house. Well, I think that path you can do right there goes into the garden area of this, this place. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to the other side of this place, so back to the uh, busy road. So, uh, <sighs> you know, a bit of a, a, bit of a headache in the back of my head. Probably not shit. 
private property. Oh, I'm going to keep that uh, shut on it. Oh. Should we have a uh, private act? Private no act, just uh, silent on the other uh, path. Mugdock County Country Park even I've been there uh, uh, some time ago and for the West Highland Way with Lily Art Gallery both are on the heritage site a yeah, heritage uh, thing it's got this heritage Loch Loman, Loch Loman, and Fossach Na National Park. Follow Aberfoyle A81. See if I go in there. Quite a heritage site. I don't know if it's going to pay or not. The admission is free. Open Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 1 and 2 to 5. So uh, the gallery is closed for exhibition changeover and will reopen 7th of May. So we're almost a, a week a bit early, so I'm not going to go in there. Then. Hmm. There's the station up there, the little guy station. Well, so far, the rain's not that bad. So. I don't know if this is just the uh, what, just the front of the uh, uh, ring cloud or not or it's just going to be like this for the, for the next hour or two and this is back in here town centre did a bit of a loop started off over there went under the road and uh, yeah, there's a few shops I want to go into. But I was uh, drinking a uh, root beer at the time, so I didn't go in. Well, I shall go in. Went into in, to the uh, what's it called charity shops. Nothing really caught my eye really. Uh, got a St Andrew's Scottish FC Couple Church, or whatever you pronounce it. What's it called? I don't know. Uh, that's towards Bears Den. Let's walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Stuart Street. Leading to the city centre. Not a big city centre, mind you. Music you loved. Does not happen here. I'm not a Stephanie, you're a little guy, United Free Church. Look, to all the models. Uh, probably gone up here some time ago. Uh, well, a little bit of work, but. Uh, and that is a thing. 
I've got a leisure centre there. Old Burton. Yeah, I do want to go up on that mountain there, or hill or whatever it is. I'm going to go there for another day. Right, I suppose I'll probably be able to get there if I go to Stirling. Yeah, I believe so anyway. So, yeah. Uh, no, no, early years, so, not leisure centre. So. Don't know what this early years centre is. Oh, uh, here we are. Because for uh, kids. Let's, uh, let's take some kind of um, gymnasium. That is Oakburn Park. Nothing really, really of the note there. It's just a big old empty field. It looks like a player hey, yeah, that needs uh, updating them. Because some of the stuff is looks rather rusty. Rusty. I can say it's rusty as well. Of course, when I stop, there's a little traffic for me to talk, and now uh, there's a lot of cars coming. Why is it when I want to, when I start filming, there's always cars on the front room by, but when I stop, there's none. Why? Absolutely why? Makes no bloody sense. That's all. What the heck is that sign saying? Yeah, who is Been looking on the old uh, Google Maps. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of anything there. Really. Just a lot of golf courses and such. Okay, if not rusty, just cut off the uh, slide there and the bench. <sighs> Uh, I'm going to make my way to the library I saw on Google Maps, which is somewhere over that direction. So, yeah. Here we go, football field. Well, I assume it's a football field. There's no goals or anything. Close road. A globber road here. There's a top up there. Mm -hmm. I think I, I used this uh, for half to get where I was camping. Uh, in late 2020. Yeah, it is. This way. Yeah, yes, definitely. I definitely use this path to get to uh, where I camped. Uh, where I'm going to the little guy. That was definitely a long day. On the train, all the way over here. Definitely didn't enjoy when it was just constantly raining. That's for, that's for sure. No dumping. Oh, but what if I need a chip? Okay. Community center and library this way. Different looks a lot different now. 
Let's have us here late. Oh, bottom. <sighs> well, that looks like someone's been fly tipping. The old fence. Naughty, naughty. Go to the library. I'm just going to head back into Glasgow. I'm thinking about just hopping off at Annie's Land and such. And I believe that is the library and community centre. I wonder what this the building is right in front of us. Is it? For the pond, I've got some ducks or well, crackers, really. What gems? Dreams do come true, apparently. Well, a guy community development trust that has uh, the trust have successfully uh, successfully secured national lottery funding to restore and upgrade. The DCE Centre Pond. In response to the community wishes gathered from surveying every household in 2015, their work will start shortly to nat naturalise the edge, transform it. I say, as the picture on the right, uh, the pond level will be dropped for two weeks and across to the uh, access to the uh, pond edge restricted to. Allow work to be carried out. Sections of the pond and pond edge will be back filled with plant um, and planted. The, these will be protected with wire, not wire, man, wire to protect from the birds eating the, the young plants. Once the plants have established, the wire will not be seen. There will be gaps in the planting to allow people to feed the waterfowl. What have happened to the uh, not feeding the stuff? Uh, uh, looks like they've already started. Already done. So, how long was that? A few weeks? Looks all well, well, new. Really. Uh, oh, this is probably the. Uh, Few months being all over the world. And it looks. Let's see what the sign says. Thank you for not feeding us bread. I was about to say breed. Thank you for not feeding us breed. Rotting bread creates bacteria in our water and can cause surface algae that can kill fish. And stop harassing the duck, you uh, typical woman. Harassing them now. It doesn't look that we do uh, established that tree still there. Should we remove that? Because it causes some stuff. That must have, it has to have been a, at least a month or two months ago or something. Noisy bird! Yeah. Uh, bloody hell, bird! What has startled you? Bloody hell. Gap in the fence. I see trees of red. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 